Hello everyone, this is Not So Bite Size. I'm going to be starting a brand new series, Phoenix Point. It is an XCOM-esque game. I've been dying to play this thing, and I figured what better way to play it than make a YouTube series out of it. We are going to be playing on Hero Difficulty. The tutorial on, we don't have any DLC that's been released yet. I haven't played the game through anyway, so I'd like to at least play the base game before we jump right into DLC. Start it up and see how it goes. We'll be watching all the cutscenes because I've not experienced any of this stuff. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully I can cut things like this out where it lasts too long. Long. Loading. It'll help my editing skills anyway. Action. 75. Fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this loading screen is going on. My name is Randolph Symes. I am the last leader of the Phoenix Project. If you are hearing this, I am most likely dead. But in happier news, a scarab has been sent to pick you up, and its artificial intelligence will take you to Phoenix Point. Get to it quickly and safely. Let's just ride in, huh? And movement. Right. You and E to rotate. That doesn't zoom. E and G to zoom. Alright, fair enough. My soldier to the highlighted tile destination. Look it. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Sprinting. The icons above your action bar show spotted enemy. Red icons. Check line of sight for this selected soldier. Correct? Select this soldier. Receiving loud and clear. I'm here. Four action points. Shooting and movement in turn. Two areas marked the blue outline show the tiles which the soldier can shoot from. Moving there. I see them. We found another enemy. Health bar indicates current HP. Duh. Armor pit to the right show the amount of damage prevented for each shot. Cool. Targeting the enemy, the amount of damage from an attack is shown in the health bar. Cool. Why did the damage prediction, the more likely it is. Select fire weapon. Fire the weapon. One down, let's go boys. This is the tutorial and all, so <laughs> Once a soldier's out of AP, he enters standby mode, and the next soldier is selected. If there are no soldiers, the turn ends. Order a soldier to standby mode, pressing the space bar. Do I want to shoot, though? Guess you're out of the turn, I guess. Guess you're out of AP. Characters attack damage done to the body part hit as well as reducing general HP. Wounded body parts are marked in yellow. Hit me in the head. Great. Disabled body parts are marked in red. Body parts will usually cause bleeding and a loss of strength, possibly willpower. The ability given by the body part will be lost. Well, of course. The object in the environment can provide cover by blocking the path of a cover. Soldiers will make cover in two different Low obstacle is low cover. High obstacle is high cover, of course. Move to the highlighted tile. Now we got full cover. Free aim allows you to target a body part and see the effects of disabling the body part. Each body part has its own hit points and armor value. Damage prediction is shown for the targeted body part. 
outer blue circle shows where all your shots will land. More accurate the weapon of the circle. Zooming in. No valid target. Okay, so we gotta we have to do free aim. Shoot at the head then, that'll kill him, right? Six shots, 35 damage each shot, 15 damage a shot, yeah. There's 100% accuracy, so let's do that. Well, it's not 100% accuracy, I was wrong. I thought it would have been. But it killed him. I guess we have to move these guys up according to the tutorial rules. It's fine. In the turn, yes. Another one. And another one. Might be in trouble, boys. Nah, it's the tutorial. Kill all enemies. Oh well. Can't see that one. Really cool. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Hit the arm, hit his carapace, legs, shield arm. Can't see the other guy apparently. Try this guy first. Ready to free fire. firing. That's bad. Really accurate weapon. How did it not die? I shot him in the head like four times. Head is... I'm confused. His head has no health left. Ah, oh, shoot him in the arm. Is a clear shot. All right. Bleeding. Shoot him again. We can. Enemy down. Yes. In the turn. Uh oh. Ow. Okay, well, let's. You need an angle. And right up on him. That was easy. Alright, vehicles. Our armored personnel carriers with a mounted weapon. Soldiers can enter the vehicle by moving on the entry marker. Enter the vehicle and then pressing the enter vehicle on the act. Cool. Let's Switch get him up there. Go into the vehicle. Really cool. Hope I can find cover. That already evacuate. Guess that's it. Mission complete. Oh. Bill 
points pool. Both got injured, but we're noobs at this game, so we'll figure it out as we go. I'm going to pause it again while we uh, wait for this. If you are hearing this message, an alert has been triggered and you will need to clear out the enemy forces. There may be others who receive this signal. Help them if you can. It's all up to you now. Good luck, operatives. Symes out. All right, straight into another tutorial, I suppose. Inventory shows everything carried by a soldier, an item from the ground or an adjacent crates. Weight of all carried items and armor is greater than the strength of the soldier, suffers a movement penalty. How do you know how much strength you have? Ready. Means items are currently equipped. Items carried but not equipped. Right. Fair enough. Equipment crates contain weapons, ammo, and other equipment. The first time a unit moves next to an equipment crate, the inventory is automatically opened and the soldier will get a will point bonus. Any number of items from the crate to a soldier's backpack or ready section cost 1 AP. Move next to this crate. Alright. Guess we have no choice. Take a med kit from the equipment crate and place it in an item slot. Okay. And a grenade. Sure. I have to move you all the way up there. No cover. Doesn't seem very Fire. fair. It's also possible to come across allied characters in battle. Allies, allies surrounded by a blue circle can be rescued and come under your control. End my turn for now. There's enemies right there! <laughs> Made me like, run my guy in here for no reason. Just have a med kit, right? Status effects are bonuses or penalties that affect a unit for a certain amount of time. Positive effects are acquired through abilities, while negative effects come from blah blah blah. Bleeding is most common. Bleeding can be cured by using a med kit. After mission ends, bleeding and disabled limbs are cured, but hit points need to be restored at base with a medical facility. Okay. Items in the ready section of the inventory are shown in the ready oh, item. Oh, oh, oh. Out an AP cost. Move him up there and use this med kit. Grenade. That wants me to use a grenade instead. In turn. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna go over here to rescue this. Have to end the turn. <laughs> med kits restore HP and remove bleeding and poison. So, soldier, collect the med kit. Use it on him. Hold still, please. Allied characters are rescued by moving. Collect this Bones guy. Online. On my way. Gonna rescue. Okay. Various soldier classes, each with their own set of abilities and equipment. Any soldier can use any armor or weapon. Doing so comes at risk of lower action or fumbling. Heavy class soldiers are heavy weapons and usually equipped with armor capable of large amounts of damage. Select the heavy class soldier. Willpower determines the soldier's will to fight and ability to perform advanced class abilities. Willpower points can be gained by killing enemies. Use the heavy's jet jump ability. Jump over the wing of the aircraft to land near the enemy. All right, let's go. On it. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, with the cooldown. Oh, now we're just gonna end the turn with fun. Oh! 
He's got good armor. Does it hit that guy too? Cool. The ability says return fire allows characters to react during the enemy turn. So it's like Overwatch. Return fire allows characters to shoot back when enemy shoot at it or any allies. A certain weapons are able to return fire. Move your assault under the wing, then shoot the enemy and observe the return fire. Moving to position. Shoot the enemy. Acquiring target. Can't. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Overwatch ability allows soldiers to guard an area during the turn. If it enters the Overwatch cone, it is. Select Overwatch. Action ball. You. Ready for action. So I'm going to move you here. Set the Overwatch. Make it smaller or larger. Character stats, equipment, body parts, and abilities, and status effects can be viewed at any time in combat from the character info panel. Select your soldiers and select info from the Force those disabled. Not very good. End the turn. Shouldn't have entered my cone. I'm gonna kill my assault, huh? Alright, kill all enemies. Start with the heavy. Let's just shoot him. Try the weapon. On it. Right there. Well, that didn't. Didn't do very good. Reload. How about this assault? He can bash them or he can. Shoot. Steady. Shoot. Pick where we shoot, too. Shoot him in the head. Find the head. Where's the head on these things? Got a big shield. Shoot him in the arm. Alright. Oh, this one. Shoot him in the leg. They made us take damage in that one. We had no choice. Fair enough. The over Phoenix yet? Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The second war to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries, even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose, New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the disciples of Anu, a new, 
syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. The Geo Skate shows the world in all locations and sites of interest. Beginning, all you know is about your base, Phoenix Point. Well, we appear to have finished the tutorial, so it looks like a pretty good place to go ahead and call it right here. I'm gonna make the cut in this video, and we'll be back again tomorrow with another episode, hopefully. And we'll see how this goes. This game looks to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Till then, bite size out.